so much to sit in the seats that we're saying and not be part of knowing and learning and, and honoring them for their sisterhood. Y'all sister wives. You say you know you you, you know about that. Listen, you say you know about that. But for me to sit here, I never experienced, I never sat here and to be able to talk to them and see the differences with them as far as like, you know, the sisterhood. It's a sisterhood here. Those are your sister wives now. You got to act related. Be related. If that's not going to go right, then if that don't sit right with you, then maybe you, you need to... So I, mean, I was saying, I, I, I didn't keep on saying to you, uh, like, if I'm getting a tattoo or not. Time to say okay, no, I just chill out, E. Go. Go that, to my room. Go to your room. <laughs> if you want. If you can't chill out, go to your room. But listen. What the people say? Go to my room, y'all. Chill out. Chill out. Shut up. I'm going to shut up. No, no, no. They gonna call them. I'm gonna let the people call them. I'm trying to establish and get some information right now and get to the bottom of this because we ain't got all night. So, like I was saying, what, what was I? Who was I? We was talking about Peach. Okay. okay. You knew you was getting a tattoo before we left this house. Yes. Yes, right? Yes. So why you saying you ain't know about getting a tattoo until, if you was getting a tattoo until you got the tattoo problem? So I didn't, so I didn't um, say nothing at the tattoo probably to you about, it's okay, tattoo or not? So I didn't say that to you? I don't know, baby. I don't know, baby. I think you asked me that and I was like, yeah, you, what food? What food are you getting? I know we did. I know we did. I know we did. You trying to make it seem like somebody forced you to get a tattoo. I ain't never said that. I said I wanted a tattoo. I was saying it in this other place that I wanted All right, well, well, make it clear because nobody want no misunderstandings, dog. Like you wanted the tattoo, all right? So with that being established, when you want attention, you have to do better at giving. You can't do that. And then you can't. You know what I'm saying? Like you can't come into any kind of polygamous relationship and start out of three, four days, start acting like, yeah, like I want attention too. Like you was getting attention and this recorded. You was getting wild attention. What is it? For you to what are you talking about? Like I'm trying to understand like you was you getting was my getting mad attention. I was getting, no, listen, me. first of all, I can't be up your ass all day because I'm busy. I'm running the whole thing, but I do give attention where, where it is. But at the end of the day, like, when it when you come into a relationship with this woman that were already there, you're coming into an established relationship with them, you have to realize it takes time for you to build that bond with Baba too. But I know you like, well, I want to be up under him all the time, but he like, he like uh, you know what I'm saying, let's take it slow, we build it up, let's see where you, let's see where you at. You feel what I'm saying? That's how I am, because I don't just be letting people in my space like that. You know what I'm saying? And like, I think you felt like this from the beginning because that's how I move. Malia be in my space all the time. You came in and felt like, well, I don't want to be in the space all the time. Aya does that too. I tell you and her, y'all can't be in here all the time. I need my space. Malia usually ain't here with me, but y'all can't be in here. And I felt like maybe you would you, you didn't like that. But you could have talked to me about that and I would have explained to you what was going on. And um You feel like our baby Malia. Let's keep it real. That's cause Malia my baby. She young. She is the baby. She's my baby. You understand what I'm saying? I don't need no more babies. I just need people to help me. She developing. She developing. She a youngster. 
This my young boy. I put a lot of work into her. I put a lot of energy into her. Yeah, I got I'm a, I got a close bond with her. I believe in her. I push her. You know what I'm saying? I put a lot of energy into her, bro. So yeah, that is my baby. Because she's like my young boy. How, how does that make you feel? How does that so make you feel? How, how does that make? If that's my baby and you love, if if if, if 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 I tell you like, yo, this is my she baby. Meaning like she she's looking at it like that's not your baby, like outside of your baby. Like, no, 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 no. Honestly, to be honest with you. She more my baby than Osiris is, cause I wasn't able to raise Osiris the way I wanted to. So I'm talking about put my mind into something, put my energy into something, put my my belief system into them. My son is not under my doctrine. He's under the, what his mom put him through. My son is not raised the way I wanted to raise him. He's she's more of my child than my son is, cause I wasn't able to put no energy into my son like I wanted to. So my sons are who, the, who their mother made them, and now I'm just visiting with them. What I'm saying to you is, I put my energy into Maria for years, every single day. What I'm saying is, I'm, I'm, I have a question. Yeah, so... My thing is, I, if you're going into our relationship, first of all, know the fuck the history of our shit. The problem here is you don't know the history of what the fuck going on between me, Malia, and Aya. This is the problem. If you knew the history, you would respect Malia and you would respect Aya when you came into this relationship. You would respect them to the point where you're going to be like, yo, I'm, I'm, I'm loving Malia with you. Not saying that that's not what you asked me for. It seemed like you coming in and being like, well, I'm here. Love on me too. And, it, and it's like instead of coming in and being like, let me love on a situation with you. Let me love. You know what I'm saying? It's a situation we're going through and support you. Let me support what you, whatever you're doing. Whatever you want. This is what a woman supposed to do. Come in and support whatever that man is doing. Support that. Like, yo. That's what I need you for. I need you to support me in whatever I'm going through. And it might be a failure between me and Maria. But you was there to support me in what I was going through. But you thinking about yourself. You're not thinking about giving that love. You're thinking about receiving it. And so it's like, you know, it's a selfishness there. But you like, I need, I need. I'm like, yo, whoa, 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 whoa. If she care about you, she'll understand me too. And then she probably would be like, maybe. I feel like. If I had her position and I seen her feel a certain type of way, I would want, I would be like, no, I, we already. I That's bullshit. Well, I well, your, your behavior. Well, I That's no. why I left my past relationship because I, I feel like, feel like, like I was. With, you left it, exactly. I That's the thing. When she get hard, when no, she get hard, you going to run. Left. She a runner, and she I a track left. star. No, actually, she going to run away when it get hard. No, actually, the you know what time it is. No, listen, I know you. I know your type, shorty. When you when shit get hard and shit hit the fan, you act like a motherfucker. Now, act like you not. Yeah. Act like you ain't the type when shit get hard, you run. How the fuck we gonna have anything when every time something don't go your way, you out the fucking door with your back in the lift. Let me get a lift and a lift up. Let me lift it up. Lift me up. Get me out of here. She a runner, she a track star. You live out the fucking bags. Come on, B. Who you talking to here? Every time she get, let me tell you something about life, yo. Let me tell you something about life. I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you a gem, jewel. You know how you measure a man by how resilient he is, not what he been through, but what he overcame and how he came out on the other side. We judge somebody strong and the value of a person by what they've overcome. And how resilient they are. Right? When anything that has value in life. You know why clothes like Louis Vuitton. and You know why they're more expensive? 
because they last longer. They're more resilient. They're made with a certain cloth that is, when you put them in a the washing machine, they're going to preserve. You understand what I'm saying? The fabric is going to preserve. That's what makes it valuable. Now, if, a, if that's what makes a person valuable, what makes a relationship valuable? The shit is can withstand. But we want some Walmart shit. Your relationship status is on Walmart. That means when you put it in the wash, that shit going to shrink. You're going to only wear it once. What's the value in you? You got to put two valuable people together to have a valuable relationship because they're resilient people. They ain't going to give up at the first time it be some hardship or at the first time it be a motherfucking problem or issue. You out the door. You don't get your way. I'm going to throw a temper tantrum. That's not, you can't make a valuable relationship with someone that doesn't value themselves. You have to be a resilient person. Two resilient people that come together. Three resilient people come together. They find a motherfucking solution for every problem. You find a problem for every solution. That holds the weight for all of us A resilient, like I said in the, in the battery dying I don't even know if they can fucking hear me I'm going to say it again What makes a person valuable Is not what they've been through But what they overcame How well they took it What makes anything valuable Whether it's a car It's put, it's put through mad tests Crash dummies this car is valuable. Why? Because it's resilient. It's made with this fabric that's resilient. It's made with this. This is, this is quality stuff here. That's what makes things valuable. That's why it's priced at a higher, higher, higher rate, a higher range. What makes a person valuable is how much they can go through and still be strong and not give up. So what makes a relationship valuable? A relationship with two motherfuckers or three motherfuckers that's not going to give up. Because you can't have a relationship that's valuable that means anything with someone that the first sign of things get hard, they throwing a temper tantrum and running out the fucking door. You have to become a person within yourself that will not give up on your dreams and ambitions. Once you have a dream and ambition, you're going to find a solution for every problem. Not a problem for every solution. So that's what makes a relationship valuable. Two or more motherfuckers that's willing to go through hard shit together. To, make, to never give up. These relationships today is Walmart relationships. Meaning you wear them one time, the shit shrink. It's not valuable. You buy a t-shirt for Louis V, you know that the shirt is not going to shrink when you put it in the watch. Because of the quality of the shirt, what it's made with. See, what is the quality of the person? The person can't be put through nothing without them giving up on themselves. They think they fucking, that the world owe them something. Nobody owe you shit. You owe life. Life don't owe you. You're here to prove yourself. This is proving grounds. You're here for a chance and opportunity to prove you to, that you're righteous, to, you know what I'm saying? To cross over into that light. You understand what I'm saying to you? But at the end of the day, nobody owe you shit by yourself. You feel in your mind somebody, oh, you suck, you carrying yourself like that. You're not a valuable person. What makes a valuable person is that they can put any champion, anybody that's ever been someone great, has been put through the greatest measures, the greatest tests, and overcame and, be, and was resilient. Now, if you put two people that are resilient together, there's no way they can lose. Why? Because they have the characteristics of someone that's valuable, someone that can sustain and be resilient. 
You see what I'm saying? And that goes for a group of people. You say you this, but then they put you through this and you ain't never make it through. Come on, man. Who needs somebody in their corner that as soon as they, get, they don't get their way, they running out the fucking door with their bags? You can't build nothing valuable with people that ain't resilient. You need resilient motherfuckers. You need valuable motherfuckers. And what makes a person valuable is that they're resilient. Losing should never creep in your mind. See, the problem is here is I'm the only motherfucker that's resilient. Everybody else is falling at the wayside every time they think they are. And I'm holding everybody up. Come on, man. I'm encouraging everybody every day. You don't think that puts strain on me? That's strain. I got to talk you out your demons. I got to talk her out her demons. Everybody fucking falling apart. And I'm the one that's keeping everything together. Who going to be resilient? Which one of y'all gonna come in here with a fucking winner attitude and say, you know what, no matter what happened today, I'm gonna stay positive. No matter what happened today, I'm gonna stay good. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be resilient. This shit hit me, but I'm, I'm still ticking. I take a licking and keep on ticking. I ain't letting nobody stop me. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. And I give you that energy, but y'all don't give it back. Right. So how this relationship gonna ever be valuable? And then I expect to get teaching and I do something like Even that. Even I, she like, yo, I want to leave. Like, I don't ever say no shit. Like, yo, losing never crossed my mind. As soon as I wanted to decide to do something, as soon as you decide to do something, that's your decision. Stick to it. When shit get bad, when it ain't no plan B. That's how you have success. Success, A successful relationship ain't got no plan B. Bitch, this is my life. This is what I'm doing. Period. That's it. I made this decision. This is what I'm doing. I'm going to make it work. Mm -hmm. Fuck you mean. The problem is one person be resilient and the other person be someone that's easily, that, that, that's got them no frill. You got one person that's authentic. They pushing the other person. You put all the pressure on me. Because yes. Yes, yes. y'all choose to be weak mm -hmm. and give up on your dreams and ambition. That shit ain't right. That's actually abusive. You're draining me, dogs. But if two or three of us are all resilient, like, you know what? Nah, I'm going to come up with a solution. Yo, we had this problem. Guess what? I got this I got this idea. What if we did this? Imagine if everybody was always optimistic in this relationship. We can have whatever we want. But the reason why we don't have as much as we want, we only ride off me. We can have ten times or three or four times more than what we already had if niggas really get their fucking mind right, B. But niggas ain't resilient. Y'all niggas, y'all so fragile. You let things bother you so easily, really, like, come on, B. I never had nobody talk to me like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm trying to give you this energy so you can give it back to me. Yeah. Or give it to somebody else. But you can't take this energy and don't give it back to me, man. See, y'all niggas become suckers. Niggas just sucking the energy out of somebody and ain't using it. Just sucker, a parasite. Come on, B. We can't have nothing great with, 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 with people that's not great within themselves. You got to have that mentality for yourself first. And then when we come together, we can't lose. We can't lose because we ain't thinking about losing. You got too many loser thoughts. We got to win. We got to win. I got to win. I'm going to win because I got to win because I'm said so, nigga. I believe I'm going to win. Ain't not a loser bone, loser bone in me. I got doubts. I got fears. But them shits ain't stronger than me. <laughs> I got bad days. I got good days. But they ain't stronger than me. I'm resilient. I'm going to make it. My family, my brothers, all of my family... Yo, my niggas ain't even thinking about winning like they're supposed to. I realized that nobody owed me shit. I used to walk around thinking like, I ain't had no mom, no dad in my life, and yeah, this world really owes me something. And I realized, yo, one day, I realized ain't nobody owed me shit, yo. And I went and got it for myself. Nobody owes you shit. Stop pointing the finger and complaining about what somebody gonna do for you. Oh, I ain't never had nobody. Nigga, what? Love yourself. When you when you put when you got me in your life, you have now given yourself the, the a good person to be around to encourage you to be great. 
You got to surround yourself by good people in order for you to be great. See, your circle before, you have everybody was, you know, on the Now you're hanging around a winner. I can't have a circle of losers and think I'm going to win. But I also realize my power is to empower others. I believe in you. I believe in you. I believe in you. If I didn't believe in you, you got great potential. I love my black woman. I'm trying. I'm trying to encourage you. I'm trying to put the truth in you. I'm really trying, my nigga. I get frustrated. I'm very passionate about my life and my, and my time and my energy. So I'm very passionate. And people take that as aggressive. But it's not aggression. It's just passion. If you're not passionate, you can't win. You need passion to win. You need passion. If it's no, it's no passion, you're not going to win. You got to take your shit serious. This is your life. You have to value yourself and your own energy and your own time. If you don't value your time, then you're, you, you ain't nothing. You get up every day and realize this is my fucking life, yo. I'm going to be the greatest I can be in this fucking life. I want to reach my greatest potential. I'm going to dream big. Let them other niggas dream little. What I see for myself is greatness. I'm not settling for nothing else. That's why I got greatness. Because in my mind, I imagine myself with greatness. And I believe it belongs to me. So it has to be. And when the other shit come along, I'm like, nah, I'm good. I'll do it out until I get what I want. If I can't get what I want, I'm not even looking at that. Ain't no losing. Ain't no losing. Everything is up, 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 up every day for me. Am I not like that every day? I get up every day optimistic. When you feeling down, I'm like, what's wrong with you? What's wrong? And now I got to hold your weight and I got to encourage you and say, take time out of my day and say, Malia, come on, man. Get back together, man. You're beautiful. Da -da 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 -da. This is a waste of time. You should be able to do that on your own. We should be doing that with our problems and issues that we have with the world against us. We don't have time to sit here and do a two-hour pit stop on getting Malia back to fucking square fucking ten. We don't got time for you to get upset. Oh, my leg, yeah. The negative and then you respond negatively. You're trying to destroy with your own life. This is your life, shorty. You're going to destroy your life and everybody in it. Walk away with a bag and then what? Come on, man. Nobody got time for that shit, man. And as a person that loves myself, I'm not going to give myself someone that's going to show me behavior that they're going to take what I got. Or when we start building, they're going to take it in the moment and just destroy everything and walk away like it wasn't nothing. Just like with Velvet. Listen, man, I know my people got psychological issues, so I got patience. I'm not giving up on my black women like most men that are successful. They give up on black women altogether because they feel like, yo, this is a fucking headache. Fuck that. I'll just go get an Asian or a white woman. They stop dealing with black women. I'll never give up on you. I'm your man. I'll never give up on you. I love you. I love me. I don't want another woman. I want you. But this toxic shit got to stop. You can't destroy my home. You got to bring me peace. Right. You got to encourage me. I'm not going to give up on you. I die before I give up on you. Because you all I got. You all I got. You all I got as a black man. I'm not giving up on you like these bitch ass niggas that say fuck it. I'm just going to live my life with an Asian bitch. Or go over here and have a, uh, a white bitch. Because black women are just toxic. They reach a certain level of consciousness. And they reach a certain level of status. And they leave you. And your stupid ass sitting down there with the rest of the regular motherfuckers and they lead a black woman. I want you nappy. I want you black. I want you. I want you. I'm going to heal you. And you could kill me in the process, but I'm going to die a real nigga. I'm going to die a nigga that can say, listen, I went hard for my woman. That's the, that's the key to my family and, my, and, my, and building a nation is the woman and her mind. And she need to get that shit right. And we need to reverse the, the motherfucking Willie Lynch syndrome. We got to reverse it. She need to know her role. She understand who she is. And I'm going to continue to drive it in the head every time, every moment I get. I ain't going anywhere. Why are you always dealing with these stupid ch We all stupid. We was made to be stupid. I'm stupid. We're going to be stupid together, but we're going to make it.
I ain't giving up. I ain't even losing. In my mind, I ain't going to lose. One of y'all going to get it right for me. I'm not, I don't care. One of y'all going to come here and get it right for me. I don't care. I'm not giving up because I ain't got nothing else. It ain't even an option for me to be with a white woman, with an Asian woman. It ain't an option to me. I love myself too much. It ain't nothing personal. I just love me. I love me too much. That's why I hate chocolate women don't come to me. I hate it. Because I love me too much. I love my woman. I love it. I love your hair. I like the way your hair feel. I love the way your eye, your skin. You're the best woman on this planet. You're the original woman on this planet. And, and I can't have nothing else. I, want, I can't be with no other woman, yo. I respect other races. You know, you love yourself. You see yourself in the other person. When you look in the eyes of that woman, do you see yourself? That's real. I see me looking back at me. And I love me and not about loving me. You know what I'm saying? I'm passionate about it. I'm passionate about us being great. Motherfuckers say it's abuse. It's not abuse. I'm pushing us to greatness because it's comfort is a motherfucking beast. We can't be comfortable. We got to continue to be resilient. We got to continue to fight. We got to continue to go hard. We got to continue to be optimistic. We got to continue to win. We can't fucking, you know what I'm saying? Y'all put so much weight on me, bro. Like y'all really do, yo, all every day. And I keep, and I don't complain because I got patience. You know what the word patience mean? The word patience, and I'm going to pull it up for y'all real quick. You know what the word patience is? To be patient. The patience mean the capacity to accept and tolerate delay, trouble, or suffering without getting angry or upset. And I'm not, and, and don't get me wrong, like, I'm not angry. I don't feel like you're the king. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Patience is the capacity to accept or tolerate delayed trouble or suffering without getting angry or upset. I know people might think I'm getting upset, but I'm not. I'm passionate about what I'm talking about. I want greatness out of you. I want to push you. I'm not accepting your defeat. I'm not accepting you in an unnatural state. I'm not accepting. I want the greatness out of you. I demand it. With authority, I demand all demons be loosed upon your soul and that you love yourself completely for me and our family. It's us. That's all we got. We don't have the government like we think we do. We don't. All we have is us. Mm-hmm. And I won't give up. I will not give up. I'll never give up on you. I'll never give up on you. And I need you to be Resilient with me. I need us all to take that and and be like, yo, this is for my people. I'm living for my people. I'm not living for me. As a black man, your duty is to heal your black woman. I don't need no other niggas. If there's no other niggas on this planet, all I need is my woman. We can repopulate this bitch by myself. That's why I don't aim for niggas. I aim for women. I got all the knowledge you need. I'll populate this whole fucking earth with all of y'all. It'd be all me out this motherfucker. All my children. You remember that 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 uh that so probably all my children? I just yeah. that all my children. Yay. I don't give a fuck. Yay. And if another brother catches this knowledge That's and wave, we can be kings and you can be a right. king over there and king over there, but it can only be one alpha per, per group. And that's going to be me. I'm an alpha, bro. I don't respect for no other strong nigga to come around me. You build your own over there, bro. And we keep, we can be friends and allies, but at the end of the day, what's mine is mine. I'm the king of this shit right here. And I'm going to have as many women as I can to populate this earth with me, reproduce me in my mind. I'm going to heal as many women as I can, bro. As I can. As I'm supposed to. But I can't plant my seed in you and you not fertile soil. I got to till the land first. Our, our black men, women are land. They the earth. The black man has been given tainted. Tainted. Hold on. The black man has been given a tainted Saw you. Hold on, sis. Don't do that while I'm smoking, please. A black, the black man has been given tainted soil to plant his seed in. 
He's tainted. His ground is tainted. So what happens when you put a seed in unfertile soil? It don't grow. Can't grow, man. We gonna reproduce bullshit. Trash. We have to till the land first. We have to change the psychological, the psychology of our woman first. We have to make sure that she understands who she is. She understands her role. She understands what's really going on here. And that I love you. This is love. If you think this is hate, if you think it's self-hate, it's because you don't know what love is. Because you don't love yourself. I'm giving you truth, and truth ain't easy to accept. You know why? Because we live in a, in a world of lies. Mm -hmm. Since the day you was born, you've been lied to. They gave you your name. They gave you everything. They programmed you. And you've been lied to. And you think you're making up your own mind. You're not making up your own mind. You're making up the mind they gave you. They gave you a mind. You've been programmed for the day you were born. This is why I rename you. Because you have to go through a, a baptism. You have to be reborn. And become a new person. Willing to align themselves and look into every demon and be able to face and be strong enough to face every demon that they have and be vulnerable and be like, damn, look at this shit about me and, and face the world and realize that the world can't judge you because we all going through the same shit. A motherfucker can't look at you and say, look at them because motherfucker, we all going through the same shit. Can't nobody judge you. This is when you're able to be vulnerable and be like, you know what it is, what it is. I'm, I realize, I'm, you know, I'm psychologically ill because they, what they made is like, I had my mind wasn't right, and I'm glad that I'm had somebody that can help me to get my situation back right. This is amazing. I found my higher self, and he's teaching me. He's talking. He's a black man. This Jesus right here, he's talking to us. That's all I wanted to say to y'all, man. We got to be resilient. You can't every time shit don't go your way, quit, man. Not even with your own life can you do that, man. You can't do that. You can't have that mentality and be a winner. You ain't going to be able to win. No matter where you go, there you are. Here is where that shit stops. I'm trying to give you the characteristics of someone that's got to win. And we're going to push. And we could be the Mighty Ducks. We might be the goofiest niggas out here. We're going to be the Mighty Ducks. <laughs> We gonna fucking win. We the underdog. We the nigga that they like. Oh, they weak. Oh, they ain't gonna make it. I believe in you. I believe there's greatness in every single person, and the right person knows how to bring that out of them. I'm trying to bring it out of you. I'm going to bring it out of you. Or you gonna have to leave. You either gonna be great or you gonna go. I cannot have losers in my circle. No matter what you're going through, you better be patient, you better be resilient, you better get up and be optimistic. And I will encourage you sometimes, but nigga, that shit becomes like a burden. But you can't carry your own weight. Alright, cool. Give that back to you. Get that same energy. Exactly. Yeah, we imagine. To be able to learn from each other. And yeah, that's that's what I want. That's that's what I stress. We build it. I, I imagine if everybody had the attitude mm -hmm. that shit ain't no plan B. We all gonna be together, like ain't no weak links. And everybody holding their own weight, and when they don't get their way, they're able to communicate to get mm -hmm. to the bottom of the issue. Because ain't no plan B for me. Agreed. I ain't got nowhere to go. Agreed. See, that's why I only deal with women that ain't got nothing else but this. That's it. That's, I, don't want some, I want somebody that's from a group home. Some, somebody ain't got no family. Somebody been fucked up all their life. They ain't got shit. Because this person going to commit. And anybody commit, you're going to get greatness out of. Commitment is the key to greatness. Mm -hmm. You got to commit. You got to be ambitious. It can't be no plan B to be successful. If you got motherfuckers in your circle that got a plan B, you can't win. Yeah. 
because then they got something to go back to. They're going to leave this life to go they, back they to. Something else. Else. There's there's no ain't no plan for you to have right my bag over that. here because, right. look, you already lost. You already lost. You can't be great if you can't commit. You got to commit. And that's why I like I like him. I, got, I like him. I ain't got nothing else but this. Commitment. And this is why, so and, and you know the craziest thing? This is why the Illuminati do the crazy shit they do for you to become part of them. They make you, they fuck you in the ass and make you do crazy shit. Because they, they know that people will turn on you and try to tell your business, but they have collateral over the person. Like, we done, nigga, we you done sucked our dick and we done fucked you in the ass, nigga. That's what it took for you to get in. And now you say anything, we done, you know, you, you by the time you leave, we know. We, are, we done had our way with you. And this is why so many people won't talk because they done... Had they way with the niggas, you know what I'm saying? And they had them away with you, so we got something on you, you know what I'm saying? And it get like that when any time you're dealing with people that have something important that they're trying to protect as far as their group is first. Yo, people be going through mad crazy initiations to be part of a group. All I'm asking for is greatness and optimism and, 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 and resilience in your own world, in your own world for your own self. Yo, you know what I'm saying? Especially when you got something. When you a part of something that's like, yo, yeah, I got something here. This is, this is all right. This is okay. I get, I, I got something. Never take that. I got something for granted. Like when you get something, just a, it don't mean to be the whole thing. It's gonna be a little bit of what you your dream is. When you get it, hold on to it. What? No, I was trying to hold it my arm. Oh, go ahead. You, <laughs> you, I know you probably tired and shit. You been no, drinking? I ain't gonna talk. You. I ain't up. Look, man. The best apology is not to never have it never happen again. Yeah, it's all good. And no, 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 no beef. And if it is beef, let's have a little bit more. No, no, no. I'm saying if it is an issue, don't give up. Giving up ain't even the motherfucking thought. You can't succeed if you're gonna give up every three minutes and shit. Don't go your way. You're right about that. You can't be great in life like that. And I don't care where you go. We ain't greatness like. How you yeah. think it was great? They had to push. They had to push through the hard times. You know, sometimes they got they was hurt, right? But they still. Kept Anybody going. that was great, they've been through everything they had to do. That's what make them great. Mm-hmm. You gotta so keep through right all here. the process and everything, did you learn anything yeah. to do different than you know yeah. that will put you on point for the next time you get the feeling the way you're feeling? Yes, I did learn something. I learned that I have, I learned that I have to have patience. I have to care, and I also got I can't keep pointing fingers at nobody. You know what I'm saying? Like, so that's you got to look at you and see yes. what you can do to help the situation and mm-hmm. understand your purpose of being here. Yeah, and that's to help and be part of a team. That's yes. great. You feel what I'm saying? Yes, I understand. And I feel but this that. Is the same and team you have to learn from. This is the same team you have to love on. This is the same team that team that you have to provide your energy to get energy back from. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. I came, I came then, and um, I knew what I wanted. But it's like I sometimes, you know what I'm saying? People be fake. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And it took for me to go through this to know, you know, how much, not only that, how much I care about me, how much I care about y'all still. Mm-hmm. And that what made me, that make me, that, that made me look at y'all and I learned something from y'all. Cause, and I learned something from him. He like, and when he said it, he like, I don't, you keep, you keep, everybody keep thinking that they hurt, but what about me? While I'm sitting there running behind, behind you, while I'm sitting there trying to teach you something, what about me? You know what I'm saying? So I, I, that was selfish. Yeah, really, we all have to selfish. learn to be selfless. Mm-hmm. And um, it's hard, but we have to learn to be selfless because um, when we love on ourselves and we be selfless and we, you know, um, want so much more, we have to do that, fix that first here. Yeah, yeah. Because we can't, I can't love Aya if I don't love myself. And mm-hmm. Aya gonna feel that shit. She gonna be like, oh, sis love is fake. Sis love ain't real. 
You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because it's all the fun. You have to know that a person loves themselves. You know when a person genuinely loves themselves because they genuinely love you. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know it. You know it. It's nothing you can't ignore. You can't ignore that shit mm -hmm. at all. You know when somebody genuinely, genuinely love you because you know what genuine love is for yourself. Mm -hmm. You don't let nobody treat you less than, be less than. It's not a less than issue. It's always a genuine love, positive strength, from moving forward. Levels. It's levels to shit like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm working on that now. I'm That's working on that now. Do you feel like you're a tyrant or something? But how I'm acting, I'm acting like I'm a tyrant or something. Like, he know me. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he knew of me. But, you know what I'm saying? He knew what I wanted, but he don't know me personally all the way. I see. And just like this mistake is like, how can I expect him to know me? You know what I'm saying? Because I'm trying to show him that I love him. Even though I did what I did, I still didn't doubt him. I'm like, what? Like, I'm thinking in my head, like, what's going on? This is too much. Like, this why is I'm thinking that you have to work on yourself. That's it. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. you're dealing with selfless people. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's a lot. It's okay because I'm working on myself. I'm working hard on myself. I'm talking about hard on myself. That's why when he was out here in the hallway screaming, I'm like, bitch, stay in room, mind your business. Because if you go out there and you say what you say, she's not going to take it. And then just imagine if it was you and somebody was coming with that same delivery. You feel what I'm saying? So we have to, I check myself. When, that's why I ain't come out the room. That's why I had to go through what she went through so long with you. Because I'm, I'm working on me. I'm working on that. Bitch, get the fuck out. I'm working on that. You feel what I'm saying? You you a bitch. We need inside voices in this bitch. Get the fuck out. We sleep. It's late. What the fuck? We ain't got time for no police to be knocking on this door. You, that's that's, that's it. But in the same sense, I'm like, I is more experienced than me as far as like working on self. So let I deal with it. But when we did um, come out, I'm like, listen, lay your drunk ass down. I don't know if that was the, the, the most know. positive energy to give you, but shit, that's that's this the most I could, you know, right then and there. I'm like, but listen, you saying the right thing? Lay down, you drunk, girl, lay down. Mm -hmm. And what I can't do is get you pregnant, goddamn, and then you act like that and take my goddamn kid. Like that's. Yes. 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 So I. don't nobody want to see nothing happen. Oh, that shit would have tore me up. You know, would have tore all of us up. You feel what I'm saying? Because we the one under investigation, that's when rip I got them hard apart. You feel what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Because now it's like, yeah, I was with her last, what the hell? It's all I was laid down. Right. That's what mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. I can't run. I don't know why I keep running. I feel like... She's a runner. She's a track star. You have to mm -hmm. work on with self. You, you can't give up, yo. When you make a commitment, yeah. you got to keep your commitments, yo, no matter what. I did it. Pretty much when I um, have, like, with my children, I did that. I did that with dancing. Like, I did that. And well, so, you, well, you, you know that you did that now. Yeah, because my teacher came to me and she told me she believed in me. But I had, I had stuff on my mind already, but she didn't know. So, like, when she kept saying she believed me, I'm like, why you believe in me? Leave me alone. Why, why you want, believe in me? She want, that was to make, that was to mm -hmm. make the best of you. Yeah. That was to bring out the best in you. You know, you. a lot of times we don't get encouraging people to come and tell us we, they believe in us. They want us to win. They want us to, you know, be strong. They believe in us. You know what I'm saying? We don't get that often. All right, then I'm going to let everybody call in. And I'm gonna let everybody it talk. Really be, you know, haters. I'm gonna let I'm gonna let the people call in right now. And um, get the A and D on me. 
I'm gonna let I'm gonna let the people call in right now. If you was being disrespectful, I got you. I got you. I seen all the comments. You got blocked. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Niggas thought they was getting away with that. But notice how the comments change. You know what I'm saying? Like all that all that disrespect, you was getting blocked the whole time. Y'all thought y'all was getting away with that. He he ka ka kiki. All that bullshit. You was getting blocked. Yo. He is? I know. What? Oh they are you talking? Yeah, 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 that's what I told you. No, not 